communist reinforcements from China itself are reported in large numbers. At Granby Halls, Leicester, Pete Wilde, Belgian heavyweight champion, met Tommy Farr, former British title holder, in a ten-round battle. Right from the start, the tall Belgian made good use of his great reach, jabbing the Welshman repeatedly, as you see. This, in fact, was the feature of the early part of the fight, and Tommy was forced to adopt rather cautious tactics. No doubt he wished to find out just how much his opponent had got. Certainly, Wilde's long left was an awkward proposition. The second round more or less followed the pattern of the first, with nothing very spectacular from either of the men. In the third round, however, Tommy Farr appeared to be warming up, and caution began to give way to aggression. But no one, least of all Wilde, I should think, was prepared for the sudden knockout blow produced by Tommy, a vicious right to the jaw. Watch the cut. The crowd evidently doubted whether it was correct, to judge by the boos that followed the decision. went on and on. No one in the ring could make himself heard, not even the victorious Tommy Farr. Finally, Wilde came over and with a gesture made it clear that there was nothing whatever to be done about it. So that was that. <laughs> 